bow down to me. The kitchen's for management only, Rummy. Whoa. Okay, well, let's try the soup again then. Okay, give me the soups. Mm, still not right. Still, Gordon Ramsay would not approve. It's not seasoned properly. Okay, it's just not right. <clears throat> okay. He's back to being a hey, mannequin. Um, Cue balls. Never mind. Hey, idiot. God dang it. What? Okay. No, no. How do I? I just want to talk to damn Doc, man. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just listen up for a second. Emmett, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Yes! Uh, no, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. <laughs> what? Okay, MacGyver, can you just do it? And I don't need to hear about it, please. Holy shit. All right, let's see if I can get this idiot to put some more. Hey, dummy! This doesn't, this doesn't, it's not right. It's still not right. We need something okay. else. I've got some more ideas about your soup. Do tell. Let's see. Have you tried? Hmm. I got it. Paprika. Paprika? Yeah. Uh, of I, course. I just think you could use a little eh, color. Color. Hmm. Let me try now. Mm -hmm. Still, no, no, no! Damn it! You suck at making soup! What are you doing down there? What the hell do you think you're doing? Come on, I can get through there. Just push the shit! There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. How about you hold it and I get through? With your stupid notepad and your ridiculous pants. Can't talk to him anymore? Nope. Can't do it. I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. Then why do you give an option to talk to the guy, okay? I want to talk to him, damn it. If I had to eat one more bowl of this piece of shit soup, I'm going to go nuts, okay? I'm tired of it. It's garbage. No, no, no. This just won't, this won't do, cue ball. I still think the soup needs more flavor. He didn't even ask what I what my opinion was, okay? He didn't even ask, okay? Cue balls! What, you're supposed to ask what to put in. You don't just grab shit. Okay, Emmett, he's not listening anymore. We, you need to hurry up. Whatever you're doing down here, crouching like an idiot, you look like a damn pelican. What's wrong with your face and your head? Like, you look like a peacock or something. Damn it. Okay, peacock. Uh, looks or a cockatoo, something, one kind of weird bird. You're. What was that? Looks like these pipes go into the basement. Something glitched. The damn thing glitched, man. It was he was saying something. I think Doc and the damn thing. It's hard to select things when there's fifty. 
still dog shit. This, this soup still sucks, cue ball. You're not putting the right damn things, okay? I still think the soup needs more flavor. What are you putting in at this point? I don't even, you're just putting, that could be cyanide, you dumbass. Okay, you got it? You did it? Let's Emma. do it. Yes? Oh, that's interesting. Just a little mechanical ingenuity. In the end, the door is open. Yeah, good job. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. Oh, what? What? Pretty sure that's illegal. I didn't want to do that, dang it! I'm trying to. Brown result. Oh god. Pretty neat, Doc. <laughs> nope. I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. What good is that? What the hell good is that? Damn it, Emmett! You spent all this time in a stupid ass, can't even make a, di a spatula for a door opener? That's the most ridiculous shit. Like, where the hell did you even get that? Emmett, this is not... Listen. Emmett. Yes? Any ideas about how to get the hooch? Hooch? The alcohol, Emmett. Ah, one might come to the conclusion that the hooch is being hidden in some of those barrels. You're probably right, but... Which ones? Now, if I could get my hands on some of those barrels, I could weigh them and compare their specific gravity. Specific gravity? Come on, Emmett. Kids' goons aren't going to let us do an experiment on their barrels. Yeah, you dumbass. Oh, I suppose you're right. We'll just have to ask the guy behind the counter. He's not going to well, tell it. Ask him if any of his barrels are filled with illegal moonshine. Get real here. Well, I imagined a modicum of subtlety would be used. Subtlety. Right. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. I hope Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds out. It simply will not do! I still think the soup needs more flavor. And I still think you are a terrible soup cooker. Hope these damn tables fall on you, sir. <clears throat> okay. Hey, um, uh, never mind. Do I gotta get back here quickly before he goes? Pretty neat, Doc. <clears throat> nope. I'm, I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. What does that what does that even do for me? Nothing. Do I gotta do it when he's like trying to put the shit back? What am I supposed to do it now when the hell that that's that's dangerous you idiot you don't hit things what the shit hey what the hell Damn it. Yes? Obviously this kitchen isn't the speakeasy. Indeed. This must be some sort of front meant to cleverly and legally obfuscate the existence of a hidden establishment of ill repute. Perhaps in the basement. Right. That might explain the elevator. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. Can I bang on the damn pipe, maybe? <clears throat> Here we go.
Nah, what are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing happening here. Oh, I know what to do. I gotta bang on the pipe when dumbass has the thing moved. I still think the soup needs more flavor. Here we go. Here we go. Yes! Dang you, ah, Edna! Miss Strickland, come for some more soup? Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. Oh, that's alcohol. I don't think you want to give that to the children. That's not right. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. Edna picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all you have to do is to get it from her somehow. Emmett. Yes? We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. My god, he teleported. Where the hell did she go? Oh, here she is. Damn, how the hell he got a... He's got a time machine. He doesn't need a damn DeLorean. He's teleporting all over the damn board. Emmett. Where's the hooch? Looks pretty sturdy. For a girl's bike. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Callahan. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very yeah, soon. Yeah, I, well, that uh, barrel is not going to help them stay sober, so I'll be taking that, please. Let's have it. Let's have it! I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh, where? The Brown residence. You mean Judge Brown's place? That's right. Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son, Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for... You know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please, tell your friend Emmett we accept. And the offer couldn't have come at a better moment. It's almost time for the meeting to begin. Excellent. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The rest home. No, it's way past their bedtime. It's what? I'm sorry about the way Einstein lit into you back there. I don't know what got into him. Well, I hope you've learned to keep him <laughs> under control. Uh, take it easy, Edna. Yeah, I found Edna's. to keep him distracted. Before I have Einstein Very eat your good. other damn shoe. Now let's see if you know your multiplication tables. Oh, God. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The orphanage. No, they've already got all the soup they can handle. How, how that, damn it! You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The asylum. The insane asylum. No, too much soup makes them nervous. How would you know that? How, how the hell would you even know that? You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The Stay Sober Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett, volunteering his father's house for our meeting. <laughs> huh? How do you like that, you damn cockatoo-looking bastard? Harry, what in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? He's you got need the alcohol, alcohol you dummy. Chill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch, but we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No, out of the question. Why? Too late. I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house. What do we know about these people? 
They're sober. They're sober. It says so right in the name. That's right. Well, okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. Don't be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes. I play my tambourine very softly. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. yeah, spot. It's just a tambourine, what? you dummy. It's still impossible. No, it's not. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the yep. patent to Dr. McCoy. That's right. Wait. No, Dr. McCoy's getting a patent because you're being a pain in the ass, you. You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Oh, no. Edna Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, I'm uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. Oh, God. He's blushing. Damn it, Emmett! I've got a bad feeling about this. I do too, because she was supposed you to be my girlfriend, much, and you're ruining it! Now all we gotta do is serve that subpoena, and we're off to build your rocket drill. And get my patent. Yeah, your, uh, patent. No patent for you, okay? We don't have time for this shit. Why do you look ridiculous all the time? Like, even just standing still, you look ridiculous. Oh, God. What were what, what you supposed to do? G did you did, give me the thing? Give me the thing so I can deliver it, dang it. Give me it! This subpoena's for Arthur McFly? Have you seen him? I did. We're a few seconds in the soup kitchen, but I think he's gone back into hiding. Brilliant deduction, Einstein. That's Einstein, okay? You, you shouldn't say that. How about Kid Tannen? What do we know about him? He's loud, he's obnoxious, he's not very bright, and he doesn't like anybody getting in his way. Yep, that's a tannin, all right. What do you know about Arthur McFly? Certified accountant. Graduated Hill Valley five classes ahead of me. Seems like a nice fellow, actually. How did he get mixed up with a guy like Kid Tannen? Who knows? Sometimes people find themselves stuck in situations they can't get out of. Hmm. Like you and your dad? Perhaps? Some of us down at the patent office are wondering, what made you think of a rocket-powered drill? Ah, yeah. that'd be Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. It was a revelation. Yeah, that's kind of what we figured. Well, if you drill to the center of the Earth, idiot, you will not be able to get up. Have you read The Time Machine? H.G. Wells? Not yet, but it's on my list. You may want to read that. Now! You have to deliver a lot of subpoenas. Father's always sending me out to do these dirty jobs. He wants to expose me to different kinds of people. And all he's exposed me to is a lot of new curse words. Well, that's, that sounds pretty good. That's a good exchange. If serving you subpoenas is such dirty work, why don't you just say no? Look, what's the worst thing that can happen to me on this job? You could get shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, believe me, that's nothing compared to what I'll get if I mouth off to my pop. <laughs> Okay, well, where the hell is he? Any idea where we could find Artie? Not a jot. If only we had a way of tracking him. Oh, you just gave we'll me an idea. Delivered. My name isn't Harry Callahan. That's right. Yeah. Harry Callahan does it again. You son of a bitch, you, you high water pants bastard. I'm never going to let you live those pants down. They're just ridiculous. They're up to your elbows. Like... Pants are not supposed to be pulled up to your damn elbows. Look at that shit. See where my pants are? They come up to where my wrists are. Your pants, sir, right to the elbows. And that <laughs> that little vest. <laughs> where the hell did you get that? The baby gap? <laughs> oh, my God. There we go. Einstein, don't let me down, Einstein. Hey, honey. Come here for a sec, boy. Don't let me down. You, you did it with the, the shoe? To this hat? Let's go! Where is he going? Only one way to find out. Nobody said you can follow us. Watch out, Doc. Man, he even runs like an idiot. 